Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars universe seems to be quite expansive, not just with their new video games, books, novels, comics, and more that's going to lend to the overall canon story, but also we have a handful of new Star Wars shows, new Star Wars movies on the horizon, and a whole lot more coming out by Favreau, Filoni, Lucas, and other creators coming on board as well. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about the new universe between Favreau, Filoni, and Lucas is that they are all working together as a team to essentially revive the highlights of Star Wars Legends. We're talking about the big moments from the Thrawn trilogy, Shadows of the Empire, and others out there like Dark Empire, the New Jedi Order books, and a whole lot more. So if you guys have not read up on those books, I do highly suggest it because you're going to be seeing a lot of stories being cherry-picked from those and being thrown into the shows. And once you read the books, you're going to be able to pick things out right and left easily. So that brings us to the next subject here and what Favreau recently had to confirm and reveal more details and updates on that's related to a TV show that he had actually canceled. And yes, it is very unfortunate, but Favreau actually goes into more reasons behind the reason as to why he had to actually make the ultimate call to cancel this particular Star Wars TV show. Now, for those of you that don't know, Favreau and Filoni, uh, have a lot more creative power now over at Lucasfilm. Uh, they never used to, but now they do after they got those big promotions by Disney executives that essentially make them, you know, pretty much, you know, they're calling the shots on all of the financial ends of Star Wars for the most part, not all, but also on a creative level for pretty much all the shows on that end. Now, with many new Star Wars TV shows currently in the works by both Favreau and Filoni, Disney executives are beginning to prepare their announcement for the future of the franchise. However, in a recent interview, Favreau went on to talk about the truth of canceling one of the big Star Wars projects that unfortunately ran into tons of problems that led to its cancellation that was made by Favreau and Filoni. Now further, Favreau went on to state to the fans the following. Well, me and Dave were working on this very special project that was going to feature the lives of Luke, Han and Leia to some degree. We wanted to we wanted the series to actually be a series where these characters would be a focus in the background that took place just after the Battle of Endor with major events happening at the same time. We called this Rangers of the New Republic. Myself and Filoni both agreed that it couldn't just be about the Rangers and the Rebellion survivors, but that we had to dedicate our work to support the beloved characters like Luke, Han, and Leia and expand their lives just as it was done in Legends. We had all these amazing ideas in play and we had a full script that featured all of them. Once we lost Carano, and once Kennedy wanted us to put the show on hold at the time and lower the budget, it was clear to us that we could not afford to recreate those fan favorite characters again for, of course, um, multiple months. So about last year, I would say me and Dave were the ones to call it quits on this project, but the good news I want to share with the fans is pieces of this show are going to be saved and stored in other shows that we are actively creating. Now, let me just pause here for a second of what Favreau is explaining. Now, the biggest reason of all why they had to make the decision to cancel Rangers of the New Republic, as he said, had a lot to do with the fact that it was all about Kennedy lowering the budget of the show. So as it turns out, it wasn't mainly about Carano getting fired at the time uh, when she was let go from Mando season three. Uh, she was only involved in the first two seasons before she was let go. She's now, by the way, in the talks and progressively getting into the actual production of Mando 4 and the Bo-Katan series. We've talked about that already numerous times. But this show in particular, I think, would have been a grand hit. There's no doubt about it. Now, Favreau is a man of his word. He talks, he doesn't talk the talk, you know, he really does, you know, do everything with Star Wars. He does what he has to do. He doesn't just talk. He actually does things. And that's what I like about him. So 
when you look at everything related to a franchise like this, the fact that he was going to re-explore characters like Liu Kang and Leia, you know, using that de-aging technology, it makes you wonder, did they have Harrison Ford signed up for this project? Why else would they have to use de-aging technology on a character like Han? You know, now, of course, given that, unfortunately, you know, rest in peace, Carrie Fisher is no longer with us, they could have probably been taking archived footage and putting that into the show and de-aging that. That might be why they were using de-aging tech and not just CG. So there's a lot of things that went into this show and as Favreau put it out there, you know, it really made things a lot more tough when the budget was slashed down. And we're going to be talking about that right now, exactly what happened. So he also says, we want to keep the show, the show's spirit in other stories that will be told and that's something I'm really looking forward to. Separate from what Favreau stated here, Kennedy was the one that caused so many issues for the show by taking the budget down, roughly down 30%, that virtually took away the funding for the de-aging technology at the time, which was still, of course, very expensive even now. Now, of course, I don't know if you guys know much about this technology, it is a very expensive piece of technology. It's not just because of the manpower that has to go into it and the intelligence that has to handle this technology, but it is the technology itself. It is very involved. Now, yes, deep fake technology is cheaper, like insanely cheaper, but it's still one of those things that ILM wants to outperform. And we've talked about this. I ILM has a brand new set of technology that is going to outperform both de-aging tech and, of course, deep fake technology. And it really makes you wonder, what in the world could that be? That's gonna be used, by the way, in The Mandalorian Season 4, and is best described to reshape the film industry. Even Mark Hamill talked about this, that ILM is doing something incredible. They are doing something completely revolutionary that's really gonna make us view the film industry a whole lot more advanced when they actually introduce all this tech in the upcoming films. Not just Star Wars, by the way. So that brings us to the next thing real quick, is that he confirms that pieces of Rangers are going to be placed into other shows. So what does this mean? This absolutely means that Han Solo is indeed showing up for other projects. And it actually does lend a lot of credit to what we have been talking about with the storyboards from Mando 4 that actually has Han Solo on Ossus handing over Ben Solo to Luke at the Jedi Training Temple. And now it makes a lot of sense because Favreau always had a plan to bring back Han and now they're doing that for the fourth season of Manda. We've talked about this. So you can see that's literally an example right there of them taking a piece from Rangers and throwing it into Mando 4. The other thing that they were going to do was the Battle of Jakku. We talked about this too, of how Rangers was going to feature an event one year after Return of the Jedi that would show the ultimate defeat of the Empire. So anyways guys, let me know what you guys have to say about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, no.